Let's just be honest. The SOC naming convention isn't the easiest to understand. So it makes sense that you have questions about SOC 1 versus SOC 2 versus SOC 3. In this video, we'll tackle everything you need to know about them. Starting with what is SOC, what the three reports are, how they're different, and which one is right for you. Let's start off by understanding what SOC actually is. SOC stands for System and Organization Controls and is a suite of services offered by the AICPA based on system level controls at service organizations. The AICPA, also known as the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, created SOC so organizations could create stakeholder trust by volunteering themselves to an independent third-party audit. A SOC report is what you get after this audit, after the design and operating effectiveness of your controls have been ascertained by auditors. If you do a good job of implementing these controls, you get a report that says so. And that's what a SOC 1, SOC 2 and SOC 3 report is. SOC 1 evaluates service organization controls that are applicable to a company's internal controls over financial reporting. It's primarily used by accountants who audit the financial statements of a company and is typically asked of financial services companies like employee benefit or retirement plan operators, payroll processing firms, loan services or other similar organizations. There are two kinds of SOC 1 reports. SOC 1 Type 1 reports concentrate on the company's system, the suitability of its controls for achieving its objectives, and their description as on a specified date. A SOC 1 Type 2 report is largely the same as a SOC 1 Type 1 report, except it's conducted over a broader frame of time instead of just on a specific date. These reports are typically restricted to your company's management, your auditors, and the company that asked you for a SOC 1 report. And though there's no legal requirement for a SOC 1 Type 1 or a SOC 1 Type 2, businesses increasingly ask for them from companies that they work with. Well then, what is a SOC 2? SOC 2 evaluates a business's controls over data and operations, specifically availability, security, processing integrity, confidentiality, and privacy. These are called trust service criteria. And when an organization chooses to be SOC 2 compliant, they can choose either one of them or all five of them. SaaS hosted cloud companies are the most likely of businesses to be asked for a SOC 2 report. And similar to SOC 1, there's two kinds, a SOC 2 Type 1 and a SOC 2 Type 2. Just like a SOC 1 Type 1, a SOC 2 Type 1 involves an auditor looking at the prerequisite controls for a specified point in time. A SOC 2 Type 2 audit involves an auditor checking to see whether you're following these controls that you've set in place in the real world over a larger duration of time, typically between 3 to 12 months. So, what are the differences between SOC 1 and SOC 2? There's three big differences between SOC 1 and SOC 2. Scope, auditing standards, and controls. Scope. SOC 1 focuses on financial controls, whereas SOC 2 focuses on the five trust service criteria that we'd mentioned earlier. Availability, security, processing integrity, confidentiality, and privacy. Auditing standards. While both fall under the ambit of the SSAE 18, SOC 1 addresses section ATC 320, while SOC 2 addresses ATC 105 and ATC 205. Controls. While SOC 1 tests controls that meet the identified control objectives, SOC 2 identifies and tests controls that meet the criteria. SOC 3 is nothing but a public and shareable version of your SOC 2 based on the five trust service criteria you chose. Since your SOC 2 reports contain sensitive information about the operations of your company, the AICPA came up with SOC 3 so you could share your security posture with external stakeholders with ease. So in a word, you can't get a SOC 3 report if you don't already have a SOC 2 report. If you're looking to get SOC compliant, don't do it the old fashioned way. Instead of taking hundreds of thousands of dollars and between six to nine months to get a report, use compliance automation. Compliance automation software like Sprinter can help you save up to 80% of both your cost and your time while getting a SOC 2 report. Click the link in the description to book a demo today.